Hello my friends. Good morning. It is 10.15. I just got to the mall. The mall that is quite dead. It keeps getting sold to different people. Some like millionaire just bought it. I don't know. <laughs> that used to be Nordstrom's. Closed years ago. And then it was a vaccine clinic during the pandemic. It's just empty now. But we still have Hot Topic. And so I'm going in to pick up the skirt that I ordered last week because they only had it in extra large and whatever triple extra large that was on the mannequin. Love that they go up that high. But it would be nice if they had more than like one small in store because <laughs> it's always gone. They say they don't really get much of the small sizes. But that's fine. We ordered it. We're back. We did the free shipping to store. <laughs> we didn't want to pay for that. It was, it's only a 10 minute drive because they've made a road that just like cuts through everything. It used to be a much longer drive. So it's not bad. I have a dog here that is just, every time I breathe, it's like <laughs> coming back and forth to my nose. <laughs> so go away. Anyway, I just took off my coat. I'm going to leave it in the car because it makes my bag fall off my shoulder, which is annoying if I want to power walk. And I might want to power walk because I'm here and I'm not going to get my power walking around the elementary school today. That's tomorrow. I signed up to help the nurse with hearing and vision screenings, which when I did that last year means I just get sent out to pick up kids from classrooms. And I always tell them, I like doing these ones. It can be stressful because you're knocking on the doors, you're calling out names that you can't pronounce, but it helps me remember where the classrooms are. And I still don't have that down. Like for some reason, I never have to go to the third and fourth grade halls. I don't know where they are. <laughs> I have to escort kindergarten first and second to their class if they come in tardy. And fifth grade is like right beside the office and always forgets like their Chromebooks and stuff. <laughs> the, the middle school vibe is setting in in fifth grade, I guess. So yeah, I'll be doing that in the afternoon because the morning shift was starting when I would have to get Jacks to school and I think it's gonna be raining tomorrow. So we're totally gonna do Friday. I enjoy volunteering on Fridays because many trucks because it kind of makes the week go faster I feel but Sebastian has a dentist appointment which I haven't confirmed yet they asked me to confirm it for a text message but I emailed his teacher I was like is this gonna be disruptive because I had it set for later in the afternoon and they just went ahead and moved it earlier without asking me telling him it's a little tough I don't know I don't know what he's doing I don't know if he'll miss speech or something so I can't well glad they move it I'm kind of over the dentist right now. I don't really want to be there. But, yeah. I'll wait to see what she says. She'll probably email me while they're at lunch for specials when she has her planning. And then I'll know if I should go ahead and confirm the appointment or call them and change it. I really need to do that. It's, like, coming up. And I don't know if they get mad if you do it when it's only a couple of days. Anyway, you can't go into this little secret hallway here, but I think I'm gonna go right into the main area because it goes to where the food is, the downstairs food, which is like Starbucks and Cinnabon and stuff. So I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat first. And then I will go pick up my skirt and I might try to find some shoes for Sebastian because just like outgrowing his shoes but the temporary shoes I got them are now too big because they've stretched out and it's just a hot mess. I'm back. I even got a cute coat. But I nearly had a horrible car accident in the 
I'm still recovering. I'm still a little shaky from the adrenaline. I was just driving. It was a divided road, two lanes my way, two lanes the other way, a median strip. Every now and then there'd be a gap for going through. I happen to be approaching a gap that you can come out of like a neighborhood in a shopping center and cut across to left turn to go the opposite direction that I was going. No lights. They have to wait. So I'm making my lunch. I need to go open the door. It's gonna keep beeping and Danny's on a call. I'll just open that for a minute. I don't want to stand right by his office door. <laughs> so the speed limit's 40. I'm going to be 42. Massive pickup truck behind me, but they've been cool. They weren't like zooming around me because I was going close to the speed limit. It was drizzling. The roads are not slushy anymore, but it, they're wet from rain. And yeah, I was gonna be going left soon. So that was the only reason I was in the left lane already. But just minding my own business, driving straight, and all of a sudden a car comes dead across from me. Like I would have T-boned them at 42 miles per hour. I had to instantly slam on my brakes, absolutely floor the brakes. And the anti-light brakes were going go, 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 go. I was far enough back that the alarms didn't go off, thankfully. I'm like gonna cry just thinking about them because I have a hard time with sirens and cheering, even loud singing. Like it makes me wanna cry. I don't know why, I'm <laughs> misophonia probably. But yeah, I was far enough back when I started braking that it didn't set off the proximity alarm, but I needed everything except for maybe like a foot and a half to stop. Maybe, maybe it was like three feet. It always feels closer. I'm sorry, I'm walking in circles. I have to. I just, the car didn't even notice. I honked once I like got to a complete stop because I was just focused on bracing myself for an impact if my car couldn't stop in time. It did such a good job that I knew that it wouldn't be a hard impact at that point. If I hadn't have braked, it would have been a 40 mile per hour T-bone. Thank goodness for my brakes being so good. Thank goodness the truck behind me was paying attention. He was quite close to me. A reasonable close. Close enough that he could come to a complete stop at 40 miles per hour and not hit me. Jesus Christ. I just burst into sobs as I drove on and then started shaking so violently. It was really hard to keep my foot on the pedal because like that burst of adrenaline was like going through my system. It was so awful. I hate driving so much and it's mostly because I can't trust other drivers, but I survived. Thank goodness, thank goodness, thank goodness. Nothing bad happened. But yeah, I picked up my skirt I haven't tried it on yet. I did take it out of the package and I think it'll work whether I need to take it in or not. I think it's meant to be worn up pretty high and then come mid calf, which I think is an ugly length for most skirts. But everybody in the reviews said it was very long. So I'm hoping it's long and I can wear it lower, more at my natural waist to get like a few more inches because I want it to be ankle. It can be ankle and show off my ankles in sandals in the summer and my boots everywhere else. But I'll try that on later, I don't know. And I'll show you the coat I got. I was in the outlet looking for shoes for Sebastian and I decided to stroll through the ladies section. And I just fell in love. But I'm gonna mix up my lunch first and then maybe I'll pull it out of the bag over there. I can breathe. All right, here is the coat. Wow, my flash decided to turn on because it's so dark and rainy out there. This is pleather. So, vegan leather, vegan fur. Fabrics. 
There are definitely cheaper things there, but it's got little fabric cuffs. Then inside the body is, it's like crushed velvet, but a little longer. It's got that vibe though. And then this faux hoodie look, which is really cool. Extra cool because you can remove the hood. I do not have enough hands for this. This hand does not like to work. Basically, this whole strip will come out and take the hood with it. So the zipper goes all the way around. And then you'll have a coat without the hood. And without this look, it'll be hidden. You can leave it in though and zip it with this. It does have a working zipper. It looks cute like that. And you can also zip it that way. Lots of pockets. Haven't dived into all of them. It's got the moto look there, the padding. And it feels pretty good. I mean, it feels like maybe in 10 years it'll start to break apart like leather does but I think you get many years out of it I like it small because I wanted to be able to wear it lower for a little more length. I could go all the way low waisted my belly buttons here and have it ankle or more natural waist shows the whole dock. Excuse how awkward this is. I literally did not want to take off my pants. So. <laughs> And my shirt's still under there. I've got like 10 layers on. But I think it's so pretty. It's like a uh, mesh, printed mesh with a sateen underneath. And yeah, I chose this sweater. I wasn't sure exactly if stripes and pattern would go. So let me know what you think. Obviously, I'm wearing it over top of a whole other outfit, which looks really bizarre. But as I said, I have to get out the door soon. I might wear this because it's supposed to get warm and springy and very wet, which maybe isn't the best idea, but warm it would be. I switched one of my shoes just to see how it looked, but I don't hate it with big boots. Anyway, I gotta <laughs> get myself decent looking again. Hello, how are you? Oh my goodness. I was gonna have Jax walk home today. Sorry, that was loud. Because it's gonna be raining for the rest of the week and I'm gonna have to pick him up for sure. So, it's gonna be about 50 degrees, you can walk, it won't be raining. But then I get an email, a panicked email, that his coding club is starting today, so I need to pick him up. 
But the thing is, he runs the coding club. He doesn't have a lesson prepared because he thought it was next week. Like, so does the teacher sponsor. She thought it was next week. So, Jax is stressed. He didn't want to talk about how it went. Plus, when he came out, there was a group of teachers and counselors out there because they have to supervise all the kids from their respective clubs until they get home. Uh, until they get picked up. And they were just like chatting away, piling on the praise, like nothing but good things to say about him. And he just really wanted to go and I was trying to be polite to the teachers because they're like, oh, I'm sorry I'm talking so much, but I just don't get to talk to him that much. I'm like, I can tell you want to go. Anyway, while I was waiting for him, Danny said that he was going to get Greek food. And he's on his way home getting a tripod so I can set you down. So, yeah, I got to sit down for like five minutes, but he just messaged that he's on his way back. I need to make Jack's some dinner because he doesn't eat Mediterranean food, so he's getting ramen. So I need to make an egg. The uh, cat doesn't stay on this anymore. I need to remember that. So I'm gonna make some ramen and some veggies and an egg. But I probably only have about 10 minutes to do it before Danny gets back. He's so stressed out. What are you doing in there, dog? Put it out. Peas, carrots, and edamame. Anyway, how are you doing? I feel like we never get to talk. It's always just so one-sided. Leave a comment and tell me how you are. I'm trying to be better about responding. Tell me something good that's going on in your life. I need more good. My year has not been good. Like, what the heck, 2024? Why are you coming at me? I'm not a fan of it. Piggy! What are you doing? Oh. What are you doing, sir? I'm gonna let you go and cook this, and I'll see you later. Probably a couple of minutes till eight because that clock is fast. Yeah, Sebastian's in the shower. I've had a bath and put on my pajamas. I do shower in the morning. I have to shower in the morning. I, I just uh, shower, wash the whole body, shave the legs and pits every single day. Person, I don't feel ready for the day unless I shower. But it's nice to be warm and clean at night, so. A bath is nice. RIP water bill, but I did get a smaller bathtub when we renovated because 
I don't like using tons of water, I, but I like to have more than an, <laughs> a couple inches. So a narrower tub let me have it as deep as I needed, but with less water. And that was perfect. Love that. Anyway, I need to wash his hair soon. I'm just letting him have a little more time. I only had a tiny bit of time for crochet and I ran out of the brown. Knew it was coming. I need to keep going around. Like literally that's all I have. I need to keep going around this one to attach it to the blanket. This one as well needs one round of brown around it to attach to the blanket. I need two full squares of brown to finish that row, and I might go ahead and do one more color, green. So I'll need two more full squares of brown, plus the brown that goes into those squares. And then I get to do the border, which I will do in white and brown. And it'll be done and ready for the next meeting. But, has anything else happened? You saw me make ramen for Jack's and then I was finishing it up right when Dan got home with dinner. So I ate falafel, didn't show you that. Falafel and a little bit of salad and a little bit of pita and had my bath and that's it. I don't think there's anything else to say. I laid out clothes for tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and wear my new outfit even though I have skulls on it. What is my sleeve stuck on? bracelet I guess it's being super annoying yeah they're used to me being a little <laughs> a little odd I come in with my tall boots with the roses often I don't usually wear skulls there I love these boots I love them so much this will be my first time not wearing my winter boots in a couple weeks it's been very cold, but it's just going to be rainy and warmish. It's going to be almost 60 tomorrow. What? The towel? I have to get your towel. I'm going to wear my little boots. <laughs> i got to get him a towel. Anyway, I should just say goodnight because i got to go back in there. So, good night. Stay safe. Be kind and don't forget, wash your hands.